Hi folks, uh, I'm, this is a piece of uh, Saunders Waterford 90 pound hot pressed smooth. Um, I bought this by uh, mistake. I, I had to resubmit an order and I forgot to, to change the, the um, detail to, or that, the select to rough, cold pressed rough or cold pressed. And in submitting the order again, because it doubled up the order, well I doubled up the order. So I've now got 60 sheets, or now 59 sheets left, including this one. So I did, I did um, a watercolour for Patreon yesterday on this paper. But, it's, uh, but for some reason the the smooth surface with, with the watercolour on it has made it a bit rough. So uh, we'll see how we get on. I'll go to another version of that. It's just it, as, a, as a, a practice piece really. So what I'll do, <clears throat> I'll wet the paper. Now it's not what I ordered but it's a superb paper for what it is. So we'll just see if we can uh, just replicate something like I've just done. I've got the paper fairly shallow now. It's about 10 degrees. So the, I don't really want the water all running down, down the page. So I'll put in a bit of, bit of sienna, a bit of raw sienna. So I'll just put, it's, it'll behave a bit like the other, the other, um, rough paper it, uh, it won't go into cauliflowers well it would if you overdo it but uh, let's get a bit of elision in there it won't it'll hardly show in the sky but no it's good let's get a bit of shadow i'm going to use a bit of a bit of Payne's gray and a bit of elision don't want a heavy sky, don't want to, uh... oh, let's see, put a bit of the, put a bit, a bit of water in here, oh. I'm mean, just, just darkening up a little bit. So I've got a bit of movement in the in the clouds here. So so far so good. All right, I'll just reclip. Oops. Completely flat. Right, so uh, now that's dry soaking in now, and you can see it's all going soft, isn't it? It's, now this is remember this is hot pressed. This is the shiny stuff, all oh, nearly shiny stuff, but it's got a little bit cauliflowery there. But so uh, don't worry about that. Uh, right, I'll give it a dry because that's my sky. Very very simple sky. Okay, it's it's still a little bit damp, which is okay. So I'm going to put in that background, that blue background, a bit of Payne's grey, a bit of ultra, and we'll just. See now, that's quite.
quite um, well, quite what? So it doesn't dry brushes um, well as the rough papers, the cold, the cold press papers. <coughs> it, but it's different, so let's just put a little bit more harder stuff in in this. I get that sort of that horizon horizontal, but I think the, the paper's still a bit damp, so oh, let's put a little bit of a bit of reflection in there. Right, okay. Uh, Thanks for the large hake, and we'll put in a bit of a bit of landscape. Um, it's a bit of burst here now. Just trying to adjust the water on the brush. Laptop here on the left. I'm just changing. I'm, I'm listening to some YouTube clips. Uh, wonderful resource, YouTube. I hope they don't uh, try to clamp down on the freedom of speech aspect of it. Uh, all right, okay. <clears throat> now I want you to get some harder greens on top of that. I can't say that I'm um, that disappointed with this paper because it seems to be doing this, doing so. I'm not happy with that. That was probably a mistake. Well, that's dry. I'll I'll, I'll look up over it. All right. So that a bit bit bit, bit of pushy stuff on there. Through the grasses. Right, let's do something the other side, pretty, pretty similar, but different sort of colours. Well, no, they won't be that different because maybe I should have uh, taken the uh, blue back a bit further or across the page. to dry this in a minute.
just fleshing out this uh, bit of So it's dry brushing a bit now, it's drying out. So I'm going to put that there, I can, I'll, I'll doctor that up in a minute. Uh, let's go and do some more dramatic stuff on the other side. Just mixing up some, uh, let's have a bit, of, bit here. Okay, so we've got two different sides there, hopefully. Now, another little test, let's see if we can just scrape out. I'll give you a dry now. So take your headphones off or fast forward. Go. Now, I, I like using uh, Payne's Grey and Burnt Sienna as my dark. Easier to uh, use a rigger on with paper. Try it. It's uh, it's. Uh, I paid uh, about forty pounds for three packs. There's sixty sheets of fifteen inches by eleven inches of this paper, but it's uh, doing things that are quite difficult to do on the rough on the rougher paper. Just bury that a little bit. Right, it goes over the other side.
Right, and I need to texture a little bit of this foreground now, so just a bit greeny, greeny stuff. Just, just a little bit over the top of it. Right, back over to uh, that foreground, that middle distance there. We'll uh, just have a bit of bit of warm. Oops, I have to leave that out. Oh, I just, I just want to lift out that bit of uh, stuff there. Okay, I'll give that a bit of a dry. I'm not going to put people in. Uh, right, so headphones off, fast forward, go. I think what I'm going to do now uh, is to take this lovely, lovely uh, inch flat, it's pro art, pro lean. Let's just lift a bit of that out. Signature. A little bird or a blob. Okay, well, I'm not displeased with that. I hope you like it. I it is experimental at this stage. I've just seen what this paper can do. I'm stuck with it now anyway, anything I can do about it. <coughs> but, you're still getting the softness. 
It's rougher now. But it's not as rough as this bench. This bench quite. Maybe when that sort of dries in a bit more. Unless it varies. But I wouldn't have thought so. So Saunders Waterford. I've, so I've now tried three. I've tried the rough, the hot, the cold pressed, the rough cold pressed, and now the hot pressed. And uh, um, the ninety pound papers. They're, they're superb. Look, it's lovely and flat. Uh, so I'll get that one uploaded for you, folks, and see where we go from there. I want to do an, an oil painting now for you. That, uh, so based on what I did yesterday, the, the wet hands today, I love painting that sort of scene. They're, they're quite simple now, but I'm still exploring the, the, the textures of oil paint. See you soon. Thanks for looking in. Bye bye. Oh no, sorry. No, I've got to put that in the mouth, haven't I? Oh, I nearly forgot. Let's see what it's like in the mouth. Let's just take those off. I'll just move it up a little bit. Okay. Right, here we are. Put the, I'll use this big, the big one. That only just, just covers the edge, two edges. Uh, let's... There we are. Well, Waterscape from from the edge. I'll think of the title for it. See you soon. Bye bye.